Even if you've never tried before, you can sculpt with green stuff, and bases are the perfect way to get your feet wet. In this video, I'm going to show you how to sculpt some spiffy spaceship interiors. Here are the paints I'll be using. You can find a list of materials in the description below. First, I cut myself a chunk of green stuff with my hobby knife and mix the two halves together in my hands. Once it turns solid green, the mixture is ready to work with. I put this onto my bases and put some parchment paper on top so that I could roll them out flat without my tool sticking. As I was flattening it, I added more green stuff where needed. Then I began sculpting. I'm using some very professional tools for this, popsicle sticks. And I dipped them in water so that the green stuff would not stick to them. Then I began carving in my metal panels, and some small stripes that would later become hazard marks. And to add even more detail, I used a small needle applicator to push into the green stuff to give me the look of flushed rivets or bolts. And boom! Just like that, the sculpting is finished. I let that dry and I used my hobby knife to clean up the edges so that they were flush with the base. At this point, you can add some bits if you want. I'm gluing on this little light fixture. Then I prime the bases black. I'm using an airbrush, but you could do this just as easily with a rattle can. Once that was dry, I base coated the model with some Games Workshop Lead Belcher, which is an awesome dark metallic metal. Then I gave them all a black wash using some Army Painter Dark Tone Wash. Next I dry brushed the models with some Games Workshop Rune Fang Steel. I'm using a blush makeup brush for this. Now it's time for the details, like the hazard stripes, which I am base coating with some P3 Kador Red Highlight, which is an orange. I'm painting this on every other stripe, and the ones in between I am base coating black. And while I had black paint on my brush, I went over some of the recesses to darken them a little more than the wash did. Now I'm highlighting my hazard stripes with some P3 Heartfire, leaving the Kador red showing a little underneath. Next I broke out some white paint, and I freehanded some letters and numbers onto the flat panels, as if they were markings on the ground for the workers to read. Then I poured some Army Painter Soft Tone Wash, which is a brown-black wash, onto my palette, and I used some foam to stipple this onto the base randomly to look like it had not been cleaned in a long time. And last but not least, I forgot to paint my little light black, so I finished that up now. With the bases finished, the only thing left to do is to paint the edges of the base, and I am doing that with some black paint. And there you have three starship bases, sculpted, painted, and ready for action. We make tutorials like these every week, and if you liked what you see and you'd like more of them, you can help us out by supporting us over on Patreon. And you'll get some behind the scenes and exclusive content as well. If you want a more ramshackle orcish spaceship interior, you could try out our sheet metal base. Find this video and lots more like it on our basing playlist where you'll find dozens of unique and awesome bases. But that's all for this video, I hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.